Welcome friends to the fascinating world of numbers. Today we're embarking on a mathematical voyage to compare two seemingly simple expressions, 1.001 to the 1000 and the number 2. Our journey begins with the number 1.001 raised to the 1000th power. This modest number, slightly above 1, when compounded upon itself a thousand times, grows beyond your initial expectations. As we delve into this expression, we can see that 1.001 can be written as 1 plus 1 over 1000. And thus, our expression transforms into 1 plus 1 over 1000 to the 1000. That's the same number 1000 times. How about the number 2? It stands tall, a solid and familiar figure in math, but we'd like to express it somehow like the other number. Is there any way to do that? Well, it might not seem to help initially, but 2 is the same as 2000 over 1000. Why do that? Because we can expand this fraction as a product with 1000 terms. Check this out. This is actually equivalent. You'll notice that we could cancel the 1001 over 1001, the 1002 over the 1002, and so on all the way down until the end. We would just be left with 2000 over 1000, which is 2. And so this is a very fancy way of writing 2. Why bother doing this at all? Well, we can rewrite this thousand term product in a very similar way to our previous equation. 1001 over 1000 is the same as 1 plus 1 over 1000. That's what you would get if you wrote this fraction as a whole number plus a proper fraction. And it's the same with 1002 over 1001. That's the same as 1 plus an additional 1 over 1001. This pattern continues all the way down the product. And so now our representation of 2 looks extremely familiar to this representation of 1.001 to the power of 1000. And conveniently enough, we can compare this product term by term. Look at the first entry in each product. They're equal, 1 plus 1 over 1000. Look at the second entries. 1 plus 1 over 1,000 versus 1 plus 1 over 1,001. And that's slightly larger in the first equation. 1 over 1,000 is slightly larger than 1 over 1,001. And 1 over 1,000 is slightly larger than 1 over 1,002. And this would continue all the way down our fraction. And hence, our first equation must be greater than or equal to our second equation since we're comparing every single pair. Or in other words, we can conclude that 1.001 to the power of 1000 is indeed larger than 2. Promise you're going to love this one as well. It's really interesting. I'll see you in that one.